so much. Well, I guess, um, first of all, we want to really just outline and clarify exactly what UK inheritance tax is, you know, what it actually means. Okay, UK inheritance tax is a tax primarily on death, on the value of your estate on death, but equally it can be payable on gifts during life. Okay. It's that simple. Provided, and this is the key to the whole thing, provided you are a UK domicile at the relevant event. And the relevant event is obviously at the time a gift is made or on death. That's right, it. okay. So, so in that scenario, who, who, I mean, obviously, this is one of the next questions that we're going to move on to. So, uh, you know, you're saying who it would affect and who would actually have to pay it. Um, who would typically have to pay it then? Who might, if anybody's watching today, how would they know if they're eligible or, or going to be in that situation where they're going to need to? Right. As I said, the key to this is your domicile at the event. Now, right. Domicile is a, is a status that you acquire at birth from your father. Uh, if your okay. father had lived, say, in the UK for years, the centre of life is there, so on and so on and so forth, you will take his domicile, which is UK. Okay. Now, it's like a badge. It, it sticks with you forever, effectively. Right. Because where you live so wow obviously if you live in the uk and you, you qualify through your father you're a uk domicile if you are a uk domicile and you were born in say america mm -hmm. but your father was a uk domicile you are also a uk domicile you wow take, okay yeah you take his domicile okay right okay that, as I said, will remain with you for life. A so lot there's no life. exception to that. That is always, that's how it is. Ah, now that is a good question and a very tricky answer. You can, <laughs> yeah, sorry, this is where it gets confusing. <laughs> it's the way I always find them. <laughs> oh, man. You can have, you can acquire what is called a domicile of choice. Okay. okay. Now, the example we'll take here is, say, Portugal. If you are a UK domicile and you come down here to live, okay, you are still a UK domicile. Mm -hmm. But if you live in Portugal for many, many, many years and satisfy two tests, then you would acquire a Portuguese domicile of choice. Now, okay. on Facebook, on, on the face of it, that's fantastic because you have no UK domicile status, therefore you are out of the inheritance tax net. Happy days. But to acquire a domicile choice in Portugal, you have to satisfy two tests. First, that you've severed all ties with the UK. Right. And second, that you intend to be permanently resident in your new country of residence. Okay. Now, on the face of it, that sounds quite simple. But depending on the size of the estate and the tax involved, severing all ties effectively means cutting everything, everything with the UK. Okay. So no house, no bank account, no investments, no club membership, no, anything. Wow. So, nothing. That's a big step then, isn't it, actually? Yeah. That's the first point. The second point is you have to be, you have to show the intention to be permanently resident in your new country, which is uh, which is um, Portugal. Mm -hmm. How can you say that? Mm. You, can, you can manifest it by buying a property here, um, taking residencia, fiscal number, all that kind of stuff, blah, 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 blah. But do you intend to be permanently resident in Portugal? You might be, but what happens, say, uh, granddad 
um, the grandchildren are missing you, uh, please come home. So you do that, mm -hmm. problem, you lose your permanent status. Yeah, it's so easy done, isn't it? Yeah. Easily, easily. And permanent means permanent. So yeah. a stupid example is if somebody comes down here to retire at, say, 60, they effectively have got to stay here until death. Wow. That is a huge, huge, it, to foresee into the future like that is a big deal, isn't it? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And that's why it's always safe to assume, and possibly the most prudent uh, way to, to attack it, is to assume that you are always a UK domicile. Yeah, okay. That's so it. you know that you know exactly what you're dealing with that way, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, great. Wow, that definitely sounds like it could open a can of worms, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> There's so many, it so many directions to go there, for sure. It does.